please welcome Katie. So, Katie, you, you, you started your career climbing that corporate ladder. Take us back to that. I did. Um, right out of college, I started, I moved to Chicago, and I started a career in marketing and advertising, and that's what I thought I always wanted to do. And it just, after a few years, it just wasn't fulfilling. I didn't feel challenged. I didn't feel like I was growing as a person. So, you know, even though I was making you know, more money than I am now, 25, and now I'm 33, um, I decided that that's not how I wanted to live my life. So I went back to college um, and got my master's here at Roosevelt University. And I graduated um, in December 2010, and that was right at the time when the Chicago public school system was shutting down 80 schools. Wow. So what did you do? Um, well, I decided to take the jump and move to Charleston, South Carolina. Um, I got a job at a Title I school, which is low income, high poverty. And I struggled, to be honest. I mean, my, my first year was tough. And um, I prayed for, you know, should I still be a teacher? I was wondering, am I really making a difference or not in these students' lives? So in February of last year, I did an assignment that was love is. And I'm always curious to see what six-year-olds um, are going to think love means. And one student wrote one word on the piece of paper, and it wrote love quit, which is my last name. And I just thought, oh, my gosh, in this child's life, I'm what he associates with love. Um, and his name is Juwan. And he's raised by his grandmother and with his brother. And his grandma's a wonderful woman. I know her very well. But she didn't have the means to provide a lot of um, experiences that children normally get um, often in life. So on um, his birthday, I found out it wasn't really, nothing was going to happen for it. So I took him out. We did a bunch of fun activities. And then ended at Walmart where I was going to buy him some toys for his birthday. He kept begging me for a bike. And, you know, I just, I couldn't afford one. Like, I don't even have a bike. I, I just couldn't afford a bike for him. And I, it broke my heart to hear that he didn't own a bike and never had. So, so you made a big decision in that moment. What was that? I did. Um, I started, you know, thinking about that. And it really, you know, touched me that he had wanted a bike so badly. And I started asking other kids in my class if they have bikes at home. And I started, I noticed five kids in our school, 650 ride bikes to school, and they all live in the neighborhood. So I decided to do a GoFundMe to get all 650 students in our school a bike by Christmas, because I thought this could be a life-changing gift for them. Because you know what? Every, every kid deserves a bike, you know? Yeah. It's a childhood well, privilege that we first bike I got, my dad bought me. It was used. But for me, oh man, it was, you might as well just gave me the keys to a Cadillac. <laughs> it's a life changer. Yeah, man, it was a game changer. I had a bike. It was a girl's bike, but <laughs> it was a, and they, they teased me about it, and then that's when I learned how to fight. And then I, <laughs> Katie, you, 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 you've been raising money. How's it going? It's been going really well. I started the um, GoFundMe campaign the day after Labor Day this year. And it's a $65,000 campaign, um, and we've raised about 17000 already. It's been amazing with these generous donations and the community really rallying together to support the students in my school. But, you know, we still have a ways to go. Yeah. Well, what you've done is really remarkable and touching, yeah. and we want to help you reach that goal in getting these bikes for these kids by Christmas. Uh, so that's why we reached out to our friends at D-Erds. And, uh, and they love what you're doing, so they're donating uh, $10,000. Oh, my God. <laughs> to help you reach your goal. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. teacher on a mission to help kids learn to ride. Last month we talked with Katie Blumquist, a teacher from Pepper Hill.
Now her story is going national. Her goal is to get 650 students bikes of their own in time for the holidays and she's joining us live in the studio now. Thank you so much, Katie, for Thanks joining for us. Me. Glad you're here. Thanks. You have been in the Lowcountry for four years. Tell us about your mission and why did you, how'd you get it start? Um, well, it started last year with a, a little boy in my class who I started taking out on weekends to kind of give him some experiences I didn't really feel like he was getting. And um, on his birthday, we were at Walmart picking out some birthday gifts and he kept asking me for a bike and, you know, I just, I couldn't afford it. Mm -hmm. And so I thought maybe I would do a GoFundMe to get him a bike. And then it kind of snowballed into, well, what about his brother? What about all the other kids in my class? And I kind of started thinking about the rest <laughs> of the kids in my school. And I just thought, you know, they could all benefit from, yeah. um, from owning a bike as well. Yeah. All right, so um, you put out this plea, uh, what, a, two weeks ago or so? About, about two months ago. Two months ago. What's happened since then? It's been more than I ever imagined. I mean, nationwide, um, even two people from other countries have donated. It has been an outpouring of support. Um, the nicest messages, people are sending me saying, you know, I know what it's like to grow up without a bike. Here's enough money to get those students a bike. It's been uh, so heartwarming. Katie, you've even gotten the attention of Steve Harvey, which yes. airs right here on ABC News 4. It's gonna air tomorrow. Tell us about that experience. That was the coolest thing ever. They called me and said, can you get to the airport in three hours? And so <laughs> my principal and vice principal were like, go. And I just went and it was such a whirlwind and they were so nice and it was incredible. Um, he is such a kind man and their whole staff were, were so nice and it was great. And surprises will ensue tomorrow so we won't, yeah. uh, we won't kill the, the tagline here. Um, so let's ask this, so now you've gone from your classroom to your school to other schools, is that right? Yeah, um, you know, I, I know we're going to probably hit our goal considering the amount of outpour of love that we've gotten for this campaign that I thought, why stop now? Um, why not extend this amazing love and joy to other Title I schools in um, Charles City County School District and let some of, you know, let their kids also receive this great gift. So my goal now is to just get as many bikes as we can and we'll just distribute them evenly amongst the other Title I schools um, so those kids can have a gift for Christmas. There's obviously a lot of people watching tonight that are going to want to help you. So tell us how we can do that. I know you guys are doing some t-shirt sales yes, as well. Yes, we're doing um, through the Bonfire Company. It's an online fundraising company for that sells t-shirts, sweatshirts, tank tops. If you Google where you search within that website, mm -hmm. Let's Go Places, you can find mm -hmm. our shirts, tank tops, sweatshirts, um, and people. And there's only 21 days to buy them. Um, and then it stops. And you're going to need some volunteers to help you put bikes together to do things yes. like that. Dean How was can... volunteering his uh, son's baseball team. <laughs> well, that would be awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a done deal. Surprise. I know. So yeah. how, can they, how can they turn and help you? Where can um, they reach if, you? If people want to reach out and help assemble the bikes, um, you know, we're going to need a place to store them. We have 100 bikes donated from Radio Flyer. And then Afforda Bikes has offered to help to let me help custom design them, and they will assemble those for us. But we do have the wonderful donation from Radio Flyer where we have those 100 bikes that we need to store um, and put together. Thank you, Barbara. So, right. I got I know. another And sign us up. We'd love to help. Katie, thank you so Thanks much. For having Greatly me. appreciate it. And, and best of luck to you. Thanks. We'll make sure we put up all this information too in case you missed any of it on our website, ABC News 4. I also com. just um, I just wrote down a friend of mine's name. I'm going to volunteer him too. Chris, right. Chris Campbell. If somebody wants to call Soup. <laughs> <laughs> Soup can help us do that. The more the merrier. The first day of November. Night. Remember riding a bike for the first time as a kid? Yeah, I do. I fell off. Well, if you do, you probably remember, you know, despite falling off, how much fun it was. But some kids aren't so lucky to have a bike to even learn how to ride. Joining us now is Katie Blomquist, a teacher at Pepper Hill Elementary in North Charleston. Her goal is to get 650 students' bikes of their very own in time for the holidays. Good morning, Katie. Hi, good morning. And what prompted you to, to start this campaign? Um, there was a student I especially bonded with last year that yeah. I noticed didn't have a bike uh -huh. and he kept asking me for a bike um, on weekends and I would take him out um, and I just thought, you know, maybe I'll do a GoFundMe and I'll get yeah. him a bike and then I realized, you know, I don't want to leave out his brother and then it just kind of transpired into, what about all the other students in my school that could really benefit from a bike? Yeah, so how much support have you seen for this? Because I would think, you know, if you say, you know what, I want to get kids 
bicycles, and surely you'd want people to, to be on board with that. Yeah. So how's the support been so far? Unbelievable. I mean, more yeah. than I could have ever imagined. Yeah. The amount of companies and people that have wanted to support this mm -hmm. and be part of it. Um, Charleston Revolution, the Spin Studio yeah. in downtown Charleston, they mm -hmm. did an amazing um, charity ride for us, awesome. and there's a raffle there that yeah. goes until Friday mm -hmm. um, of awesome products that people have donated, local companies and people people have donated. Yeah. And um, just tons and tons of donors from across the country. Now you're looking for about $65,000, which would, um, you said, average out to about $100 for each student, about 650 students. And that will include not only bicycles, but what other things will that include? Um, we also need helmets and locks. We want to make okay. sure the students are safe yes. and that their bikes are safely um, stored. Right, and teach them that ahead of yeah. time instead of just dropping it on the ground and exactly. running into the store. We're in different times yeah, now. Exactly. exactly. Okay, and something even really bigger, you've got a larger platform, and I think this might put you over the top, perhaps. Uh, we hear that you're going to be on the nationally syndicated Steve Harvey show, yes. but you're here on ABC News for it. So what was it like getting that call? Oh my gosh, I was shaking and I was freaking out. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I, it was the coolest thing yeah. to think that Steve Harvey wants to support this wow. campaign. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it was, they were like, get to the airport, yeah. your flight leaves in three hours. And wow. I, my, my principal, my vice principal have been amazingly supportive of the mm -hmm. district. And they were like, all right, go, you go. know, get there. So it was unbelievable. Well, that's awesome, Katie. Thank you so much for starting this platform. And if someone's out there watching and they feel like, you know what, this is what I want to give to. This is who I want to donate to. How can people get involved? Um, people can go to my GoFundMe page, okay. and um, it's called Every Kid Deserves a Bike. Oh. And you can go ahead and donate there. Um, yeah. You can go to Charleston Revolution and yeah. buy a raffle ticket, mm -hmm. which will go towards the project as well. All right. We see there are over $20,000 already raised. So we're going to put her over the top, right? Yes. Sure. yes. Katie, <laughs> thank you. Thank you positively. Well, in case you missed them earlier, we'll have another look at stories making headlines this morning. Plus... Aaron Kinzel is going to have your prime preview for tonight, so stay with us. As a kid, how much fun that you had. You also probably remember just how great that feeling was when you finally learned how to ride. But some kids are fortunate enough to have a bike to ride. And joining us this morning is Katie Blumquist. She's a teacher at North Charleston's Pepper Hill Elementary. And she's got a goal. It's a lofty one to buy bikes for 600 and 50 students. Katie, good morning. Thanks Hi, so much for being here. Thanks we for having me. It. Yeah, tell me all about this effort, how you got started, and how many bikes you currently have already. Sure. Um, well, it started with a student I had in my class last year who I realized didn't have a bike. Um, I would, I especially bonded with him, and we would go out on weekends and do some activities. And on his birthday, he was begging me for a bike. Mm -hmm. And you know, I would have loved to have bought him one, but I just couldn't afford it. So I thought maybe I'd do a GoFundMe. Sure. And then it translated into, you know, what about his brother? And then what about all the other students at my school, you know, that I love and that would really benefit from a bike? So I started the GoFundMe to get all 650 students in my school um, a brand new bike by Christmas. And how many are we up to right now? Um, we're, it's a $65,000 GoFundMe. Wow. And, yeah, and um, we're at about 21000 And you've gotten some great help from some pretty big yeah. companies, too, so far. We've been really fortunate with the support. Um, Radio Flyer has donated 100 bikes, and we've had a TJ Maxx did a Twitter campaign, a week long campaign, mm -hmm. um, where they were promoting women who are trying to help others in society. And so they did a, one week, a week long campaign for our project. and. Um, CHF Revolution, the spin studio downtown, did a charity ride, and they also are allowing me to have a raffle there till Friday night. Oh, very cool. Lots of great products. So we're on our way here. That's already a couple yep. of hundred bikes, but we're not done yet. So how do people donate? How do they get these bikes and make sure the kids up there need and get them? They can go to my GoFundMe. It is called Every Child, Every Kid Deserves a Bike. Simple. Every yep, kid Every Kid Deserves a Bike. Deserves a bike. Right there. So you just type in and you can give whatever monetary donation that yep. you want, right? Yeah. Sounds great. Have you ever done any fundraising no. like this before? I've never done any of this. Um, I just am going with the flow and, you know, taking everything as it comes. I'm completely humbled and blown away every day as people reach out to me. And, it, you know, every day I cry about it be out of joy because sure. I just can't believe how amazing the local and now national support um, it's be has been. Obviously, we got a lot of students that are going to have the look when you give them that bike, finally. Yes. But what was it like to see that, that first student, the one that really inspired this project? Did he get the bike already? Nope, nobody. None of the kids really even know about the bikes. Okay. It's a surprise for Christmas. Uh-huh. So, 
They don't know yet. The clock and, is ticking, Unless though. they, you know, see it on the news. The clock <laughs> is ticking, yeah. so make sure you hit that GoFundMe. What's it called one more time? Every Kid Deserves a Bike. All right, Katie, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Uh, up there on your screen, and we're going to do this 650 yeah. bucks for those kids. Thanks. All right, you're watching Fox 24 News this morning. When we come back.